Hello everyone, it's 20 Italians bringing you another episode of A House United. So you may be wondering why we're starting on the political screen and not on the map screen as I usually do. And I know I'm a usually creature of habit, but I wanted to... It's actually really astounding to me. If you look down here in the lower left, you'll see that of voters and of the people, more than a quarter of the population want universal voting right now, which is complete suffrage. And you're saying, well, that's not, you know, that's not half the country. Why would you care? Well, one, if you see on the pop-up, uh, I can't, I'm pointing to it because I can't actually move the cursor under the dotted line. Almost 60% of the upper house votes to do this. And you're saying, well, how is that possible? Um, reactionaries don't. Remember, reactionaries are ultra-conservative. Think um, everyone supporting Donald Trump. Um, conservatives, 40% of the conservatives are voting yes, which would probably be northerners, I would have to think. And then the liberals, who make up 34.3% of the upper house, are voting 100% yes. So, really the majority of the upper house is going to vote to support universal franchise here. Um, so everyone gets a vote. Basically, right now, it's a weighted universal. So the rich man's vote, and the richer you are, the more important your vote is. So I'm sure that the cards have something on it that says, like, um, income per week or income, probably income per week at this point in time. <clears throat> but now it doesn't matter. It's just going to be universal voting. So, so the poor man's vote counts just the same as the rich person's vote. You may be saying, why does that matter? We now have one brigade, one rebel brigade, ready to join an uprising here of, of a Haitian uprising. Uh, it's at 3% right now. I know it's, it's not increasing, but look how many Haitians are supporting the faction, which means that this, their militancy is pretty high right now. So I need to break, in, break that down. <clears throat> I think that going with, in 1844, the universal vote is a smart move here for America and we'll see what that does um, I'm gonna have to advance this a day probably come on yeah there we go um, do I have to close this out to get to it uh, this is very not exciting still who why do people care about the universal vote I already gave it to you all right, what do most people go next go about? Now look at this, 10% of the population cares about outlawing slavery, but only 6.2% of the voters. It is interesting to see that uh, outlaw slavery is going to be next up here. 10% of the House wants it, so we'll see what what, what goes on here. Um, and hopefully this starts going down, but apparently that didn't. Why is this going higher now? Listen, Haiti, just just be happy with where you're at. I've granted you, I've granted you more reforms than you are base, so that's good. Um, not going to suppress it because that makes it more radical. That would just um, that would just uh, make the situation worse, really. Oh, so we continue on here, and let's go. Uh, we've already sphered our little corridor here of South America all the way down to Uruguay, and I think Ecuador is coming in next, and Venezuela. Oh, the United Kingdom's ahead of us. You saucy dogs, you. Uh, oh, we now have presidential elections starting. Who, who will the pops vote for? Will we keep the Democrats in power? Or I guess you'd say the conservatives could be Democrat or Whig. Um, but in my role play, if you haven't gone to the Paradox forums and, and seen my, my role play, in which the link you'll find below, I think I've kept it Democrats. Crisis in West Macedonia? Yeah, I don't care. Offer a backing of a country in crisis from the Ottoman Empire. Why don't we go to diplomacy first? I'm going to sit on this one. Um, waiting on great power backer. Oh, Ottoman needs it. Who is it? It's... it's the Ottomans and Greece. <clears throat> um, let's see if someone else backs them. I really don't want to on this one. I don't need to go to war with either of these guys. 
we we don't we don't curtail yeah. uh back their side i'm going to i shouldn't have clicked on the pop-up i didn't realize stupid uh, i'm going to decline there buddy i'm not going to get on the bad side of all right so two sicilies is who <laughs> they're going to next i'm not going to get on the bad side of the um of the British. That would be bad. Oh, what's happening now? Except the Christ Harvest from the... Russia... Uh-oh. Wait, did that defuse it? I guess it defused it. Okay. And did that give them more prestige? I guess I should have helped out. Oh, so that's the thing. So the two Sicilies backed the Ottoman Empire. But then Russia backed Greece. So I would have been outplayed anyways. I'm not, I'm not high enough. If I was high enough... I, I could have enforced what I could have enforced uh the issue. Uh it was a newspaper. Um uh who yeah, I'm gonna stop influencing Denmark. I really don't care about Denmark to tell you the truth. I was just trying to gain a core over there or gain a sphere over there in Europe because that would have been funny. At least I thought it would have been funny. Current election being held and rebel factions. Maybe I should take a look here where where the rebels are at. Seven point nine militancy in Cape Haitian. Seven seven seven. Okay, so there's seven all around. Uh, I think I need more more men down here. I'm going to come. Is this this literally just? Oh, it is infantry. Okay. Let's take his clipper fleet. Let's bring it up here to Washington. I'm going to bring down the seventh army to help with the suppression of the Haitians here. Uh, you don't need an uprising down there first. All right, we can improve Peru's sphere of influence. We will make them cordial. We are cordial with them. I do want to sphere as many South American countries as we can. And, and so I was thinking too, if we survive this well enough, I want to... Uh, Hopefully, um, convert this over to a Hearts of Iron 3 playthrough. It may be rough, um, but I feel that if we, no matter what the outcome is, it would be a great thing to continue on through to, to Hearts of Iron 3. So hopefully that works. Um, and I'll continue to play that even if I have Hearts of Iron 4 at that point in time anyways. Let's look at the Citizens and the Res Publica. <clears throat> Citizen Polish City Debate in the U.S. Two debaters are arguing heatedly in the qualmy air of the town hall. The audience sits dumbfounded. Oh, you're missing a period there. The audience sits dumbfounded at words like aliens, minorities, and ethnic and cultural groups. That's because our consciousness is so low. Uh, one argues that immigrants are to adopt the dominant culture of their new homeland, while his opponent believes that immigrants should retain their cultural heritage and that the USA will be strengthened by the influx of a fresh perspective. So right now, almost the vast majority of our voters are calling for full citizenship. Some are asking for limited citizenship. Now, I wish they had tickers over what this actually means. Why don't we come up here? Where's our citizenship? Uh, I don't see citizenship anywhere on here. Boop, 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 boop. Mm, yep. <laughs> That's not helpful at all. But anyways, we're going to... Um, Percentage people that resort or support residency will gain 0.2 militancy. Well, there's only it's not even a percentage. One, it's not even one percentage of the population. So, we're going to move to full residency. That's what America. That's what America has always. Well, I mean, you don't get it full right away, but once you become citizens, you don't have a limited limited amount. Yes, alliance offer from Uruguay, of course. I am friend to all. All right, let us travel on down to Santo Domingo. I, guess, I mean, I really got to station these guys in a port. It's getting annoying. This is getting annoying how this happens. I mean, we are just rolling in dough. That's all I got to see. Let's check on our production here. We're subsidizing a lot of stuff, but it's not really hurting us. I wish we could start building um, our own... Oh, what are we producing here? Cement. We're always producing cement everywhere. I wish we could... Um, invest in our own factories but because we're a democracy we can't all right stuff is going well here in pennsylvania but we haven't filled it up yet that's okay uh projects what do we have here 
Everyone wants to build a cement factory. Ooh, fertilizer factory. That I can rally behind because fertilizers make explosives. Um, explosives make big boom. That's always good. Now we just... Is that everything? We just need machine parts now. Why is this gone down to nothing? There we go. Uh, do you need more? Because you're not telling me that you need more. There we go. Come on. Bing. There we go. Almost. Almost. No one's supporting this except the government. The government wants you to build a fertilizer factory. Right. Future of the economy. Economic policy debate. <clears throat> Has a chicken in his... How will the government make sure that every American citizen has a chicken in his pot during the coming term in office? So we were actually really... We have always... Um, what I want to say, drifted towards interventionism here, as you can see. And whatever I choose here will really sway it in the other direction because it's going to affect 10% of the population here. Uh, we're... No one wants laissez-faire, pure laissez-faire capitalism. Uh, the, Dem the Southern Democrats want state capitalism. And we can get into that. I think if we go into politics here, we can see what... Oh, we can't see what that means. Yeah, we we'll just say yes or no. What, what they fear. State... Oh, no, it does. Okay, so the state capitalism, you see, um, <clears throat> state controls the commanding heights of the economy. Basically, it's state-based instead of federal-based. Uh, you can open and close factories, so that would be nice. Um, but the minimum tax is plus 25%, but the factory owner cost goes up, as you see that. Um, and then we can invest in everything else. Well, interventionism, the factory owner cost is not that high. We don't have a minimum tax bump, uh, but we can't, it does say we can open and close. Oh, we can keep it open, but we can't build factories. Yeah, we, we can build factories here, but we can't build factories with interventionism. Because you're, inter you're intervening. It's a free market economy. This is not a free market economy. Uh, we are going to stick with <clears throat> interventionism. I know I just said, man, I really wish we had it. But the voters want it more. It would... Man, that's a tough one. Why don't we... Why don't we make... Why don't we support state capitalism this, this go-round? I gotta move these guys out of out of here. I'm gonna put them into port here because these are guys at 100. Yeah. Okay. All right. So hopefully we're reducing militancy here, which we're really not. The Dominican nationalists, Haitian nationalists. Well, the Haitian nationalists are the ones that are rising, about ready to rise up. Yeah. There's not many. Right, so I gotta move them over here to keep Haitian. And these guys are Dominicans. Okay. Well, we're just trying to figure out stuff here, aren't we? It's the Army of the South. Uh, and... Oh, we, oh, we discovered collectivism. A a excellent. We have a railway built in Manassas. Good. Nepal discredited France. Discredited Austria, the UK has discredited France and Belgium, and discredited Spain and Morocco. I know I wasn't reading those totally, but you know, I'm gonna disband the undermanned. Do I? Nah, no. Nah. Oh, we're almost done here with early railroads as well. Um, did that factory get built yet? Come on, guys. Seriously, it's only the government. There we go. Um, where are they gonna build a railroad? I mean, I could just invest in it if you tell me where. There we go. There's the early railroad. So now, now we can span, finally, the, the western mountains here. Um, expand and, and expand there. And we're going to expand through western Maryland, through Wheeling, West Virginia. So this is just great. This will actually allow us... We still can't come up here into these. These are high mountains, and we can't cross the can't cross the Rockies yet but look we can oh wait uh, Phoenix isn't a part of ours oh we need to ooh fruits and this goes into Pueblo and yeah expand it there expand it to ABQ Laredo 
Yeah, well, I forgot to expand out here. Do we need stuff up here? What do we got going on? Um, oh, iron. Well, of course. No, 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 no. Sing it with me, people. Um, Peoria or Rockford? Not Rockford. And this has always bugged me that I didn't bring it across here. So I'm going to do that now. And that looks good, right? That looks good. Decent. Nothing else. I really I mean, I have everything else here. And I like to think that it's... It's getting into markets? Yes, no? I don't know. I don't know how RGOs work, to tell you the truth. Like, here in Springfield, is it, gonna, it should. I mean, it can't be that far away. It can't be that messed up. Uh, nothing in Alabama. And they have iron here. I didn't even notice they had iron there. Um, Texas, nothing in Kentucky. Um, I guess I'll just put it here in Paducah, right? They can all ship their stuff over yonder. And sure, Greenville. Let's see up here. Up here's fine. We'll connect Lewiston with everything. Oh yeah, Rhode Island. Yeah, Rhode Island. Come on, Delaware. You can get a railroad too. Railroads for everyone. Right, they already have it. They're connected through Memphis. Connect, connected. Should I mean, should I like connect just one province out of everyone? I don't think I can actually do that because I'd have to connect it down here in Gran Granite Falls. How much are you expecting here? Uh, that'd be like eight. We can do it. We're gonna do this. So that they're all connected. And come up through Denver to connect Cheyenne. Oh, oh, wait, and I didn't connect these up here. So, what is this, Dupree? Yeah, we're just connecting everything. All right, out here, no railroads out here yet. Well, why don't we build one fish in mountains? Excellent. That That's what I would think, too. Okay, well, I guess they're getting it off the river, right? <clears throat> um, Portland, that's Mexico. Portland and Seattle, I mean, that's really where else, where else would you go? And cool. Man, that was, that was huge, but whoop, not yet. Right, let's come up here to technology. What do we want to do next? <clears throat> Naval stuff. Nah, not really being on the Navy here. Factory input market structure. Ooh, farming diplo influence goes up. What about culture, state and government. For industry. Can't, ooh, that was a lot of stuff for mechanical production. Um, heck yeah, we're going to do that. Oh man, look at all those inventions we could get. Yeah, that's going to revolutionize America. And we're continuing on. Fugitive slave, where am I? He wakes up screaming. <clears throat> Upon being told that he was found collapsed just a few yards, a few yards north, across from the Ohio border, he starts laughing. Ohio, I'm in Ohio. Oh, merciful Lord, I'm in Ohio. This man is a slave, escaped from some or other plantation down south of Mason Dixon. He's wounded but still alive. What perils he has suffered on his way to Marietta, only the good Lord knows. Federal law mandates that he be returned to his owner. Law is the law, or he stays in Ohio. Sorry, buddy. I, I feel the pain of the slave, but all those pop, all those consciousness going up, no. Oh, was that another Democratic win? I guess you're not really role playing it. Democratic Party is now the ruling. Oh, they got 90% of the vote. I guess with those Southern Democrats swing with state capitalism. Uh, our new upper house is... Or did that actually change? No, because um, it didn't. So 1845, the Dems hold office still. Uh, so we gain more liberals and more reactionaries. Let's take a look at here the politics. Now, the Democratic Party is still interventionism. It's just that more people want state capitalism. 
Uh, still haven't really suppressed this too much. Hopefully, I'm hoping it goes away. <clears throat> this should go down, right? Yeah, it's negative 5 right now. The radicalism of it, right? Or is that just going to show me the same thing? Movement with, a, movement with a high value of 100 will convert to a rebel uprising. Well, good for... Well, good for the Democrats taking office once again. Uh huh. Fertilizer factory being built. We're doing all right, people. Discriminatory school system. The schools in Port Au Prince are heavily geared towards supporting the small Yankee minority there, and as a result, our Afro Antillean citizens feel oppressed. While allowing some temporary leniency in these policies could be beneficial to our technological pro progress, could also be a seed of Afro Antillean revolution and an end to our rule here. And again, three consciousness to every. All pops in Hispaniola. Whoa, wait, whoa. Three consciousness and a one militancy? N I'm gonna say no to that. That's that's way too much. And it grows in, well imagine that it'd be up to nine militancy. Uh, a little too much there, but a little too much. And I'm not gonna build them a navy yet. <clears throat> Yeah, that would uh, that would not be good. I wish there were other other laws I could enact to help them out, but oh well. Sometimes that's that's just how it goes, I guess. Uh, so really, not much going on. Just just sort of in this episode, just sort of. Um, <clears throat> oh, we had the election. Obviously, that's going on, but really, just more of nation building here. Um, wow, Great Britain's really going on a tear here of. Uh, discrediting people so hopefully they don't come our knocking our way everyone i hope you liked this episode of a house united i know it wasn't all the whiz bang of war but uh that'll come soon enough here we have to take the rest of mexico obviously um so yeah if you like what you see feel free to click on the thumbs up at uh below the video it lets me know that the video is good uh also lets me know that you guys like what i do and if you have not yet, you can click on the red subscribe button at the end of the episode or below the video. Clicking on the red subscribe button lets me know that I'm doing a great job all around, that you like what I'm doing, that you want me to keep on doing it as well. Tell your mom, tell your friend, and tell your friend's mom. Everyone should be subscribed. It would be great. You can have a 500 sub party sometime this year, hopefully. <laughs> well, everyone, as always, good night and good luck.